So today's topic is going to be about parthenogenesis, which is a type of asexual reproduction at which there is no fertilization occurring. So there is no fertilization whatsoever within parthenogenesis. It is essentially the development of, of an egg without fertilization. So you start with an egg and you would have no sperm whatsoever, usually. It could start with the sperm, mind you, but it, that's extremely rare. Now, don't get this confused with hermaphroditic organisms that have the ability to fertilize themselves because they can produce both types of gametes. That is distinct from this because there's obviously no fertilization occurring with parthenogenesis. So be sure to acknowledge that. That, 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 that tends to confuse people. Now, uh, parthenogenesis can either create a 1N zygote or a 2N zygote. Depending on which one it creates, it could dictate the, the resulting organism's role in the particular species society. For instance, with wasps or bees, uh, if, if the, queen, the queen has the ability to, to choose when to fertilize their, their eggs, if, um, if an egg is not fertilized, it would form a worker, a worker bee or a drone. They're also sometimes called drones. But if, if an egg is fertilized, it usually results in queens, other sorts of queens. So this is within bees or wasps. Now, there are two, two main ways in which a diploid zygote can come about. You can either start with a 2N cell, 2N cell, and have it undergo mitosis to result in another 2N cell, a 2N zygote that would form another bee. So it would just undergo a single step of mitosis, of which there would be no chromosome degradation. So it's not like meiosis, where it would go to 1N. Now, yeah, that happens to be the other method. If you start with 2N and undergo meiosis, you could form four, four haploid, haploid, haploid eggs, basically. Each of these would be of 1N complement initially. But the next step of this would be to to replicate their own DNA to create a 2N complement for each each of the individual eggs. So each of these would have 2N complement now. So that, that would be DNA, just DNA replication. There's no cytokinesis occurring, no mitosis. So this would be a three-step process, mainly involving meiosis as its initial cause. So the 2N zygote can come about by mitosis, single step, or meiosis, th uh, three steps. Parthenogenesis overall is the fertilization, well not necessarily, <laughs> the formation of an egg without fertilization. It usually occurs within lower species, such as reptiles, some fish, ants, and of course the bees that we were looking at.